What's up, Mad25 Gamers? Today we're we'll taking a look at the Dime Normal package, and we're going to look at a blitz out of it. Uh, the play is Prowl Spy Man. It's actually one of the uh, hidden blitzes in Madden 25, at least in my opinion. Not a whole lot of people know about this blitz, uh, at least not to, not to my knowledge. So, Prowl Spy Man, it's pretty simple to set up, and that's why we're going to show it on the blitz today. So, uh, what we like to do with this blitz is we like to, um, uh, we like to pinch our linebackers, spread our defense on line, and then I personally like to call press coverage. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see you're going to get two guys free at the quarterback. And this is beneficial uh, because we're sending six guys at the quarterback. And in that situation, it means we're going to get a plus one advantage every time. So again, pinch your linebackers, spread your defensive line, and call press coverage. And now what you're going to see is we're going to block a running back, and we're still going to get a guy free at the quarterback because we're sending six guys and getting two free. Now, if you only want to get one guy free, I suggest zoning one of these slot corners. So here, if we want to get a free guy free off the left, we're going to zone the corner on the right, and you see we're going to get that pressure in off the left. If we wanted to, for example, get it off the right, then we're going to zone Jones here on the left. And the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're going to get the pressure to come in off the left side or off the right side. But overall, guys, in my opinion, it's better to run the second setup because, as you can see there, the guards sometimes will get in the way of it. Uh, if you send only the five-man blitz. This is why I like to always send the six-man blitz to just know that I'm going to have guaranteed pressure. Use this blitz in your arsenal to stop opponents on third and long situations. This is a really good blitz uh, with the new mana line feature. We can have nice matchups uh, and always be on, at least on the ball for, the, for long enough for the, the blitz to come in. So this is going to force your opponent to at least have to wait about three seconds for routes to develop. And with the heavy heat that we're sending, they're not going to have time to hit the reads. Thank you guys for watching today's video on the Blitz of the Day. If you have any questions about the Dime Normal, need help, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below or hit me up on Twitter. Also, guys, I just released a 4-3, or not a 4-3, but a full playbook breakdown. Um, the Miami Defensive Playbook is on my YouTube channel. It's been about an hour's worth of content. And I uh, got some good reviews on it. So make sure to go check that video out. I'd really appreciate it if you guys did that. Also, a couple of other housekeeping notes. If you guys could please feel free to look at the description. Check out some of the links I've added into there. It's a little bit different the way it always is. So uh, now we're going to be able to use the description to communicate more effectively with you guys. And also, if you're new to the YouTube channel and want more information, and the latest up-to-date information concerning my YouTube channel, my video content, and Madden 25, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and we'll see you tomorrow.